I am going to use a word tonight that I do not use lightly. And I am not using it because it's my word. I'm using it because it's Mitch McConnell's. After the first time Republicans used the payment of our national debt as a bargaining chip back in August of 2011, Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell told the Washington Post exactly how he saw our nation's debt limit. Quote, what we did learn is this. It is a hostage that's worth ransoming. A hostage. That is how Republicans view this. And that is how we should, too. Here's what happened five days after McConnell's hostage statement. This was a dark day for the nation's finances and for millions of Americans with a financial stake in the markets, the very same Americans who are still processing the fact that our country has lost its top credit rating. Here's the damage from today. The Dow down over 634 points. That's the sixth largest point drop in its history, the worst since 08. NASDAQ lost just about 7% of its total value. S&P 500 lost 6.6% of its value in one day. The president went on television at midday to reassure Americans, but the damage was done. The markets continued to drop while he spoke and the damage continues. It's a bigger systemic problem with no real end in sight. That was what is now known as Black Monday. It wasn't our nation's worst financial crisis by a long shot, but it was an entirely avoidable one. In our entire history as a nation, the U.S. has always paid its debts. Because we are such a gigantic economy, loaning the U.S. government money has been a safe bet and a stable investment around the world for a very, very long time. If we all of a sudden stop paying our debts, that safe bet would crumble and the global economy would be thrown into chaos. So you would think that would mean there would be bipartisan support for making sure such a calamity does not happen ever. But no. In both 2011 and 2013, Republicans used that safe bet as a hostage and they threatened global financial collapse. Now, even though we never actually defaulted on our debt during those years, the chief economist at Moody's Analytics found that the sheer uncertainty created by this Republican stunt cost the U.S. economy as much as $180 billion and 1.2 million jobs. And now the Republican-controlled House wants to do this all over again. They want their own hostage crisis. Today, the United States hit its debt limit, and we can no longer borrow any more money. And so to keep the lights on, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has been tasked with doing some creative accounting to move what money we do have from agency to agency and pay as many of our bills as possible. That should keep us afloat for a matter of months, but make no mistake, our country is teetering closer and closer to the edge of financial collapse. That is unless Republicans in the House agree to the completely routine raising of the debt limit. Now, we could talk about what Republican demands are, but at this stage, that is all fairly unclear and may continue to be for quite some time. To really understand what's happening here, let's go back again to what Mitch McConnell told the Washington Post in 2011. The full quote starts with McConnell saying, I think some of our members may have thought the default issue was a hostage you might take a chance at shooting. Most of us didn't think that. What we did learn is this. It's a hostage that's worth ransoming. The hostage metaphor here is apt. This is about people, people's lives, their money, the social services they rely on, their retirements, their literal 401ks. A few years ago, that economist at Moody's found that another prolonged impasse over the debt ceiling could cost the U.S. economy up to 6 million jobs. It could wipe out as much as $15 trillion in household wealth, and it could send the unemployment rate surging. Today, this was the advice that the New York Times gave to investors. At a minimum, as an investor, you will want to be prepared with ample cash holdings. Basically, make sure you've got some cash. Keep it liquid in case our entire economy and all of your investments in social safety nets like Social Security can no longer be relied upon because of a literal Republican stunt, a fabricated hostage crisis. The fact that establishment institutionalist Republicans like Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy are so gleefully willing to embrace the fact that they want to hold the American people hostage is one thing. But someone should tell them that they are hostages now, too. I mean, they might not want to actually trigger a global financial collapse, but do they really control the party anymore? It took Kevin McCarthy five days and 15 
excruciating rounds of voting just to win himself the speaker's gavel. The idea that Kevin McCarthy is in charge here is a myth. And now does, does Kevin McCarthy, does the Speaker of the House really think this is a hostage that the most extreme members of his own party wouldn't take a chance at shooting?